Welcome back, Arcadians and Nintendo collectors. How you all doing, guys? <laughs> you still sitting on your butts? Oh, guys, not a bad thing, not a bad thing. At least it gives you more time to play some games. Well, it has done for me. Uh, there's not a lot I can do with a broken arm right now. But, guys, I have been playing, and we've got loads of games to get through today. But just a little update on the arcade. Not a lot's been happening, obviously, because I've got a broken arm and I haven't been working. So no work has been done on the arcade and won't be for a few months yet anyway. Not until I'm back earning. But I have unwrapped a few more cabs um, and they're all pretty much working except Gorf and Astro Blaster, which is a shame because they are the only two cabs I could play with a broken arm. But my arm's slowly building up strength, and I can play Donkey Kong for about half an hour now um, without it aching, which is cool. And that's why these are all switched on. So Sheriff's been getting a bit of play. Donkey Kong Jr.'s got remix in it from my good friend Daniel Copeland, who gave that to me in Atlanta at the Sky Skipper reveal. Thanks, Daniel, for that. Must do a video on remix. <clears throat> Such a good game. Sky skippers are working, so the marquee light is down. And as I said, Gorf is not working. Gutted that's not working, because I was getting really into that. And of course, Robotron and Wizard of War are still wrapped up, um, because I just can't play them. There's no way I could play Robotron at the moment. My arm's not strong enough. And plus, I've got this sofa in the way at the moment, um, <clears throat> which I will be getting rid of, but right now... Because we're having all this building work done on the house, it's a nice little retreat for me. I can come down here and get an hour's kip. <laughs> I do sleep a lot down here because I'm on a lot of painkillers, so it's really quiet down here. And actually, the sofa's really comfortable to play for the, on the Switch, which I've got set up here. This is my ground control, guys. This is where it all happens. Gone is that horrible, nasty piece of kit, the Sega Mega Drive, that actually was responsible for breaking my arm. <laughs> that is gone. That is gone. Actually, it wasn't working very well anyway. I'm going to send it off to my friend um, Craig, Goodwill's place. He's going to repair that for me. But guys, honestly, the Switch at the moment is oh, there's so many good games for it coming out. Absolutely loving the Switch right now. So in this video, I've got loads of pickups to show you, not just physical, but a few DLC ones, a few arcade games I've been playing, which we're going to look at later in the video. So this is where it all happened, guys. And, and, and you know, it's great to have this set up here. Um, it's away from the house. It's peaceful and it's quiet. And, you know, it's great. The kids come down here as well and we play games. It's absolutely fantastic. But I do have a new arcade, guys. You haven't seen this yet. This is my Video Master. It's a Jammer Cab. Um, I actually used to own one of these years ago. When I first got into the hobby about 10 years ago, this was one of the first cabs I ever owned. And I've, I sold it, I regretted it, and managed to find one that was in absolutely spanking condition. I mean, it's just unbelievable, the condition of this cab. Um, and the monitor is crisp, so crisp. And I've got a lot of, not a lot of PCs. I've got three or four PCBs that I've never even played. And this is one of them. I bought this off Muddy Music, Black Tiger. It's a bootleg PCB. Fantastic game. I've never played this before. Um, so we are going to do a gameplay of this, guys. Such a good game. I don't think it ever got any console release. Um, it might have been on one of those Midway or Capcom collections. So it's Capcom games. So it would be on a Capcom collection, right? Not Midway. Um, but yeah, it's a fantastic game. We're going to do a gameplay of this. And, and this this cab, guys, is so versatile. So easy just to rotate the monitor and get access to the PCB, which you can do from the front of the cab. You don't have to pull the cab out. So I really do like the Video Master. It's a great little jammer cab. And if you're just getting into this hobby, I recommend this cab. It's so, so good. Um, and over this side, well, I've just got a bit of tat here. I'm actually, I've got a, this Electricoin MIDI, which is going through a few processes. It was going to be a dedicated rescue, but of course I got the dedicated rescue. Now I've got to swap it all back. So my good friend Vic made me a dedicated tw twin stick control panel for this MIDI. Of course, I don't need that now. So now I'm trying to swap it all back to what it was originally. I've got two control panels, a single stick control panel and a twin stick control panel for two players 
which I might keep just to swap around. You know, it's nice to rotate the monitor, play some uh, fighting games on here and stuff, and swap it back to play some shoot 'em ups. Um, but I'm not sure. You know, I'm in love with the dedicated. So if I can rotate that monitor just to play the odd game that I want to now and again and, and replace the MIDI with a dedicate, that's probably the route I'll go down. But I mean, I don't know yet. I don't know how this room is going to pan out. Um, I really want to get all this finished, guys. I really, really do. I'm desperate to start work on this room, block this door up, block the windows up, get it all cladded, get all the electrics in and the floor down, and then I can start work on the console area down here, which I'm going to have a, a big desk and loads of shelves for all my games. Um, but, you know, it's just going to take a while. So I'll see the millipede. Still haven't picked millipede up. That's my good friend Mark's. That's that little space in this corner. But, you know, I love this room. I can see the potential in it because you've got a great space. Usually a lot of garages are quite narrow. This is quite wide. So I can get people on either side of the room playing games. And you've got enough room for people to walk down the middle without disturbing someone playing a game. So I'm, I'm just so over the moon with this space. I just want to crack on with it a bit. Unfortunately... Because of my broken arm, it's just not going to happen, unfortunately. But we still playing the games, guys, and let's get straight into it. Let's get into Black Tiger, because I want to show you this game. Such a classic game. I'm going to set the camera up now on the tripod, and we're going to play Black Tiger. So here we are, guys. So those of you who are wondering how my old arm is, it's getting there. It's very slow progress. Um, I can take it out of the sling and the weight, I can literally hold the weight of my arm now and lift it up and down. That's the easiest part because the bone's not taking any strain whatsoever. But it's this this way, you know, this is my good arm obviously and I can lift it right up like that, that way, like a chicken, right? But this arm, that's about as far as it gets without shooting pains, sharp pains. Um, so it's still a long way to go. Um, but it should be knitting together now slowly um, and I can grab things off the table just about that's the biggest thing that's happened in the last week and, and cutting bagels or slices of bread is a lot easier whereas before I could feel I could feel it wasn't right but now I can feel actually there's a little bit of strength there so it is getting better very slow progress um, but every week uh, moving forward but getting there guys anyway you're here to look at the old video master the video master as i said is a fantastic starter cab and the reason why is it's quite a versatile cabinet you can rotate the monitor from this side all you've got to do is two straps inside here that you undo i can't do it with my just one arm this whole control panel comes down and you can take the bezel out and rotate the monitor from this side. And also you've got easy access to all the PCBs to, to change your game around. So it's a great little cab. You know, you haven't got to drag it out like the electrical MIDI and get in through the back way. Um, it's nice that you don't have to pull it out. Um, the colour scheme's a bit bling. You know, there's a lot of gold and red. You know, a lot of people don't like that. I understand why. Um, but I remember this as being, you know, like a, what they call a chip shop jammer cab. You see this in a lot of chip shops, kebab huts, that sort of thing. Um, so a lot of nostalgia for this cabinet. I like it. It's pretty cool. And for 350 quid, it ain't bad, guys. It's, it ain't bad at all. So nice to have this in the collection. Um, the game, Black Tiger, came out in Japan as Black Dragon. And... It was actually released on the Commodore, Sinclair Spectrum, I think it was on the Atari ST, um, but not many consoles, not many, it didn't get put into many consoles. Um, it was on the Wii Store, which I missed. If, it was, if I knew it was on the Wii Store, I would have had it. Um, I hope it comes out for the Switch so you guys can play it, because it is a really cool game. It's very similar to Ghosts and Goblins, in a sense it is hard but once you know where everything is you know you progress you get further lots of hidden secret passageways doorways potions in walls so you need to shoot everything you can in the game if you've got enough time 
because you are on a time limit, but you do pick up extra time in the game. Um, the only thing I haven't worked out in the game is the potion. I don't know what the hell that does, and there's not a button for it, because you've only got jump and fire. Whether that's an extra life or what, I don't know. I haven't sussed it out yet. But let's set the camera up, guys, and play a little bit of Black Dragon or Black Tiger. Right, here we go, guys. Cool music, but it does get a little bit repetitive. See how good I am. So he's like a Conan barbarian type character. And the first hidden secret is on the left. And it's extra time. So we have got time against us. Coins we can pick up. And keys. Because we can later on in the game, we can buy extra armor. Extra health. Now, the health system is a bit weird because you've got a health bar at the top, but we've also got armor down there, which is at one, but it was at two when I started. So in effect, you've got three bar health, but it's represented in <clears throat> different ways. And you've got a potion there, which I haven't worked out what to do with that yet, or what it does. Bats. Everybody's worst nightmare in a game of bats. Now some chests, like this one here, if I open it, is a trap. Oh no, that one wasn't a trap. Some of them are a trap. And they're different paths. Oh, I'm dead already. <clears throat> different paths, the arrows are pointing this way, arrows are pointing upwards. A lot of the enemies take quite a lot of beating. Those bloody bats always get me. So this guy's gonna give me some money. Thank you, I'm in debt to you. Please accept the money I have. I'm gonna go down here. There's a dungeon, hidden dungeon this way. those fires, those flames, absolute nightmare. So here's the dungeon, I'm going to go in now. Welcome to the dungeon. Any hidden there? Yeah, there's a hidden there. And we've got a chest. And then the guy's going to give me something. What's he going to give me? I'm in debt to you. Extra time, which is good. Skeletons. Oh. More money. You have to backtrack a little bit because they do come at you quite a lot in different angles. Exit. So this should bring me back to the beginning, yes. Come on, jump. Get a bit closer. Oh, he got me, did he? Oh no. I thought he got me there. Some weird plant. So let's go up this way. All right, here we go. So this is the shop. I've got 838 coins. Um, so I'm going to get... I don't know what the difference is with those two armour. Let's try that one. Oh, that's giving me a, basically extra health. I've got 200 left. I'm going to get... Potion, whatever that does, I haven't worked out yet. And another key. I've run out of time. You only get a certain amount of time in the shop as well. You've got to be quick, guys. Oh, I 
Oh, good job you don't die when you fall. That would be really annoying. Let's take some beatings. Oh, got a lot of coins for that one. Right, first end of level boss. Not too difficult. 28,750 so far. I think my top score on this game is about 30,000. I haven't played much. My arm's starting to ache now, guys, as well. So I can't play it too long. Right, a bit of a jump here. Oh, I hate that fire. Oh, I panicked. I panicked. I panicked. <laughs> Stressed out, guys. Oh, is that? I hate that fire. Take some beating that guy. Oh, that rock! I forgot about the rock. That rock always gets me. Oh, game over. Oh, so annoying. I'm gonna give that another go. One more go. Thirty-two thousand. That's just got to beat, guys. One more go. Apparently there is a dragon at the end you've got to defeat. There's a few of them actually. Be good to get there. Anything that does dragons on like that is really good. It's just remembering everything's in the same place every time you play it, so it's just you just gotta remember it where it all is. Just like goes and goblins. Ah oh. See, that was a trap, that one. Be so careful. More time. Bit of money. That was a power up. Destroyed everything. Let's get out of here. Bloody bats. And then one more. Get those bats quickly. I hate those fools. Right, what are we going to buy? What have we got? I only got 600 this time. Why is that? Let's buy some more armour. And another key. And on we go. Oh. I lost my fire button there. 
not my fire button, that's some sort of power up. Look, see, I can't fire those daggers anymore. That's annoying. If I die, I see. What's my daggers? What happened to my daggers? that one. Right, here we go. Weird end of level boss. Some jumping rocks. Right. 25,000. Got to remember where that boulder is. It gets me every time. That's it, my arm is aching. Well, there you go, it is a cracking game. Um, and you see, the, the more you learn where everything is, you're gonna get quite far in it. There's about six levels all in all. Definitely one that's staying in this machine for a while. There we go, 32,050, not bad, not bad, guys. Right, guys. <laughs> Pickups. Oh, a bit of rum and coke for tonight. Now, the Switch. The Switch is killing it. It's killing it with the arcade games. So many. So many cool ones. Salamander. Life Force. It's great to have this on here. I mean, I'm really shit at this game. And because I don't have a main setup, it's fantastic to play this on the Switch. Although I do need an arcade stick, but absolutely loving playing Salamander right now. I just find it really difficult getting through the membrane of the first level. Each time I just can't remember how you do it. As you're going through the membrane, it sort of follows you up. And if you don't have your options in the right place, or your fire, because you usually picked up four or five options by then, it creeps up behind and just kills you off. And I'm not sure how you get around that. I've done it once or twice and got to the end of level two. But each time I forget how I've done it. It just it seems different every single time. But love having this on the Switch, guys. Absolutely awesome. This is on. Um, this is on. If I can get to it. I don't know how you get to it now. Game settings, life, blah, 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 game manual, game options, game menu. Uh, quick life force, yes. Right. So here we have a great collection. The Anniversary Arcade Classics Collection. 
um, by Konami. Um, fantastic collection. Typhoon, Haunted House, Vulcan Venture, which I think is Nemesis 2 on the NES, or Gradius 2, whichever way around you want it. Thundercross, you've got a lovely bonus book here with all the history behind all the games. It's great to look through. And of course, I missed out Twinbee and the Scramble, the classic Scramble, which I've never ever finished. So I've been playing a lot of this recently. Also, I'm going to show you all the games I've got on here. Not all of them, but the ones I've been playing. Um, Armed F. Have you heard of this before by Nishibitsu? It looks a little bit like Truxton. It's very colourful sprites going on. It's a vertical shoot 'em up. Pretty cool, I think. I got it in sale, three pound fifty, um, which I think is brilliant. I mean, you can't argue with that, right? And this is what I love about the Switch. You can there's just so many arcade games coming out. Some most of them I've never even heard of before. So it is quite nice just delving in there and ex experimenting with some of the games, seeing what they're like. Um, so yeah, this is Armed F. So I was playing this a bit the other day. Pretty cool sound, pretty cool graphics. Really psychedelic. And it's got a weird shooting me mechanic. So I can swap, swap it around. So shooting from the side, shooting up front, which is quite nice, that works really well. What I really need is a mic, what I really need is a TV to rotate so I can get the vertical full length of the screen. Yeah, fantastic little game if you haven't played it well worth downloading for I think it's in the sale for about three pound four pounds ah oh, died anyway check that out guys that is armed F pretty damn cool Mario and Rabbits I've literally just finished really really cool game I'm just going back and trying to perfect everything so getting perfect on every level 1980x which is kind of like a um, homage to all the old retro games like the platformers the shoot 'em ups the run and guns we've played a little bit of that I've got the Castlevania anniversary collection as well as a Contra anniversary collection they they are both in the sale at the moment so i recommend getting those guys really really cool and gun lord x gun lord x which i got a physical copy of this is it here guys so this is this came out 2013 i believe so it's like a homebrew game came out on the neo geo and the dreamcast and now it's just been released for the switch and it's a really cool run and gun game. It's very similar to Turrican. If you love Turrican, you're going to love this. I'm on the last level of this, nearly finished it, and absolutely loved it. Brilliant game. Really, really cool. Really nice pickup. The only thing extra you get in this is a CD. Um, so, yeah, nothing special with a limited edition pack. But I do love the box art, and, you know, I'm actually collecting a lot of the limited editions for the Switch. So this is a really nice addition. So really enjoying that. Um, I finished, I think I've showcased this in the last video, Gigantic Army I've finished. Steradin, which I think again I showcased in the last video. Brilliant game, although rock hard, really rock hard. And what was the other game I've been playing we finished before I get into the pickups? Uh, can't see it. Yeah, that, that was it on that. So my pickups, guys, this this is what I got. Samurai Showdown uh, for the Switch. And it's got the Neo Geo box, which the Neo Geo cartridges used to come in. 
um, for the AES system. And they're bringing out Samurai Spirits in the same box uh, as this. And this is gonna look fantastic on the shelf. About the only beat em up as well as Smash Brothers and Street Fighter, Last Blade and, um, I uh, can't remember the other one. More Combat's all right, but there's only a few I play um, fighting games. But this is a really cool uh, limited edition. Comes with Samurai Showdown 2 for the Pocket um, pocket Fighters for the Neo Geo Pocket. So that hasn't been released anywhere else. It only comes with this limited edition pack. So that's really nice to get. And also it comes with a lovely art book. I mean, really nice art book, guys. So for, for a game that I absolutely love, it's nice to get the art book. Look at that. I'm trying my hardest with one arm here to show you. Oh, by the way, T-shirt from the guys. YouTubers, fellow YouTubers. Thanks so much. I'm loving this T-shirt. It's one of my favourites. As well as the other one, but this is one of my favourites. Really, really cool. So, yeah, lovely, lovely artwork in this, guys. Really cool. Fantastic game. It's got a kind of like cell-shaded art with kind of like a black border around all of the figures. I actually quite like it. I used to paint a lot of my figures with that big black border around. So they really stand out, really bold graphics. Um, Luigi's Mansion's free. Struggling to get into this, guys. I find it a little bit too easy, a little bit too predictable. I played the other two, and it's a little bit for me like Animal Crossing. You know, I killed Animal Crossing on the 3DS. Played it so much, over 100 hours. And I don't know, it's very similar. I, I wish they'd just change things around a little bit, like they did with Zelda Breath of the Wild. Like, same game mechanics, but just a different world, a different environment. I don't know. I, I will go back to it, but I am struggling to get into that. Um, also, oh, I've got some lovely pickups here, guys. Really lovely pickups. But... What is it now? Yes, my dinner is calling. I've got to go and have my dinner. I will be back and I'll be back with a cream cake and we'll open these lovely limited edition boxes that I've got here. I'm dying to show you. Okay, so I'll be back in one sec. So we're back. My tummy's lovely and full, but not full enough. We have to finish it off with the beautiful cupcake. Look at that, lovely, beautiful cupcake. Bit of strawberry cream on there, guys. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm, that is good. Mmm. 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 Mmm, a little bit too sweet. Oh. <laughs> oh. That is, that is sweet. <laughs> that is sweet. Mmm, sickly sweet. You know the sickly sweet? You've just had enough after one mouthful. Mm, don't stop me though. Got to finish it off. Mmm. Phil, you haven't had a diet, you haven't had a cream cake in a while, have we, guys? Mmm. <laughs> remember when I was a kid, I used to get all the icing off, off all the little creases in the back of that foil. Do you remember? <laughs> mm, not anymore. My teeth have fallen out, guys. I've had to have two root canals in the last two months. Unbelievable. It's Brundle McCrowley. <laughs> Brundle the fly. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, I got a bit of a sugar rush there. Right. I should wipe my hands on something before I pick up these lovely beauties. So this game I'm going to show you now, I think I pre-ordered for six, maybe eight months ago from Strictly Limited. And I have really been excited about this one because some of these games have never, ever been on the console. And it's one of those arcade games that is quite difficult to emulate really, unless it's done really properly. And it's the Darius Burst, sorry, the Darius Collection, not Darius Burst, that is a game on its own. Um, it's got a lovely cardboard box with Taito Corporation on the, on the side here. 
and this turned up guys, I was over the moon, honestly. Now, bear with me, I will do my best to try and show you with one arm, but it comes with loads of instruction decals like you would do, you'd get on a, on, a, on, a, on the actual cabinet. And this box comes with two um, games like, like this. So you've got the arcade collection and the console collection. Not every single Darius game, because I've heard actually they're gonna bring out another Darius collection too, the, some of the later ones. But still, this is some of the early ones, some of the ones that I remember. So you get all of these instruction decals, like stickers, which is cool. You get this fabulous book. And people do knock these limited edition box sets. And yeah, you're right on some of them, but this one, you can't knock this, guys. This is just an unbelievable box set. This book is absolutely stunning. It's got pictures of the console box art, like actual pictures of the boxes folded flat. They're the Super Nintendo ones, Darius Twin and Darius Force. You've got the Mega Drive ones and uh, the Master System ones. I'm just going to pick a few pages out here. There's loads of prototype drawings in here, but I've been reading a bit of this. It's absolutely fascinating. You've got it in English and in Japanese. Um, history and stories from the developers themselves. So if you're really a big Darius fan, I'm not, their, I'm not its hugest fan. But I do have fond memories of playing Darius Burst with the free seats, with the speakers underneath, booming out around your ass because it literally underneath your butt. And having seen those uh, free screens or two screens, I think it was Darius Burst. Is that free screens? I know my mate Ollie Alpha One's got one. Incredible arcade, incredible experience. And the way they've done it on the Switch is, is really well done. And I'll show you in a bit, but fantastic book. That's not it, by the way. That is not it. Because inside that box, you get this. And it's got a sleeve that comes off. Then it's the box itself. And then inside here, I'll just lift it up and show you. Contents of the box. So you get four coasters which actually I might make a montage of really nice coasters too nice to use but nice enough to make a little montage on the wall of really difficult to show you one hand guys and that's what's going to happen I end up dropping them on the floor which I didn't want to do so I've got to be careful you get two CDs you get a bunch of pin badges and you get I haven't even undone this one yet this is the console collection so you've got the Super Nintendo the Mega Drive and, and uh, the uh, Master System so that's that is the whole package unbelievable package if I must say so I think it's about and don't quote me on this, I think it was about 120 quid. But you think what you pay, you've got to think, guys, these arcade games, you know, to play these PCBs, worth an absolute fortune. And the way they've done it on here is, is incredible. I'm going to show you in a minute. The way they've divided up the screen to give you that illusion that you're still playing on a twin screen. Um, here we go. So this is the arcade box, which I've got out. So Gaia, Darius 2, Darius, the original Darius, and there's another Darius there. So these are all the arcade games. It looks stunning, honestly, it really does. In fact, I might move the camera around a bit so you can get a better, better scene of that, a bit of picture. So you've got the old version. The new version this came out in 1987 and the versions are just really where they come out in different regions so there's only slight differences some are made a little bit easier for the american market 
Some actually haven't even been released. We've got the extra version. See, yeah, the difficulty levels ramped up a little bit in that one. So let's just show you the old version, the original version. And the way they've done it here, they haven't used the whole full screen of the TV. It's just this box here. Because I think that's how it was in the arcade. The monitors were really small, but they were the two together. And it looks stunning. Look at that. Can you see that, guys? Got all the Japanese controls underneath here. Brilliant game to play, honestly. Rock hard. And as you're picking up stuff, your bomb, your arms, your missile, all goes up. You just get more and more powerful. But holding on to them is another thing. Because if you get killed, you lose everything, right? But all of these early side scrolling and shoot maps are all the same. bullets now. Lost my shields. Oh. Lost everything. Where's he going to leave me? I just want to show you the end of the level boss. I feel I'm back at the end again. Anyway, I'm not going to go too deep into that, because what I want to show is the other games. I mean, it looks incredible. So that's the old version, you've got the new version, Darius extra version, Darius 2. This one looks unbelievable, guys. Right, credit up. Now look at that, the screen's bigger. And you can, if you look clearly enough, you probably can't see from there, but there's a line down the middle of the screen, which you would have had it in the arcade because it, they would use two monitors. It looks stunning, honestly. Take some killing, guys. Oh, get too carried away. But how cool is that? Honestly, really, really cool. Um, and then the other one, I think, came out on the PS1. It does look very familiar. You can tell it's a lot more modern. The graphics are um, more rendered. And it's using single screen as well. It's a little bit easier to play. Um, and you get bombs as well, like a smart bomb. Still good game. Still like it. But it kind of loses its charm a bit because it hasn't got the dual screen. You know what I mean? And it is a lot easier, which is nice. So you can get a, little, a lot further in the game on your own. Again, you can play two player on all of these games, two of you can join in, which is a lot of fun. So 
So great, great package, guys. There's a bomb. Destroys everything on the screen. So that's it, really, guys. I mean, there's other, there's other games on here. In different versions. We've got the game manuals. Goes into the history of the game. I mean, honestly, guys, it's an absolutely fantastic package. Can't recommend it. Obviously, you don't have to buy a physical copy. You can just buy a. Uh, you can just download it. A lot cheaper. But yeah, absolutely loving this. Really, really cool to have it on the Switch. Really cool. Right, next up. Right, so last of all, guys. Um, I know I showcased this in my last video. I think it was actually in my old house. But the Capcom um, Belt Action Collection. I played every single game on this. This is another fantastic collection, it really is. This is what I mean, I'm just playing arcade games on the Switch, it's so cool. But there's some really good ones that I've never played before, like Battle Circuit. What a fantastic game, CPS One cards. I'd love to own that and have that in the Jammer Cab. Such a brilliant, colorful side-scrolling beat-em-up. Um, Knights of the Round and King of Dragons I've finished. Um, yeah, King of Dragons I would prefer over Knights of Round. Knights of Round can get a little bit boring. Same old enemies repeated over and over again. Final Fight, you know, to have Final Fight on here, the arcade version. You know, SNES one, I have to say, was never that great, was it? But yeah, Captain Commando as well. So really loving playing these. This is a great patch. It's got all the artwork in here, which I'm going to have frames and have that up on the arcade. So really cool. And my last two pickups I'm going to show you is a CQO collection. I've got Bravo and I've got Alpha. These are about 50 quid a pop, guys. For these limited edition, not limited edition, but these box sets. And again, fantastic games on there. Strikers 1945, Strikers 95 2, Strikers 1945 3, Dragon Blaze, brilliant game, Soul Divide, and Zero Gunner 2. What a fantastic package! Some great shoot 'em ups there, really are. I mean, Zero Gunner. I mean, I remember that in the arcade. That was a weird one because you could sort of move the ship right the way around and shoot behind the enemies. Uh, Dragon Blaze is a fantastic game. Soul Blade with those rendering graphics. Um, and this one here has got Gunbird, Gunbird 2, Gunbarch, uh, Tengai, um, Samurai Aces, and I can't see what that last one is. But yeah, fantastic package this one, guys. Gunbird 2 is a brilliant game. It's worth it just for that, you know, brilliant game. So can't recommend these enough, guys. Really, really cool to add to the collection. And I've just got to mention, um, I got these from a family member of Chris Oberth. Chris Oberth was the designer of Rescue, Tasmania, Minefield, uh, Antita. Uh, his family member, because you know I bought this Rescue Arcade, the prototype arcade machine. His family member sent me a load of these flyers. There's seven of them here, and he said to give them out to collectors. So I've already offered these up. If any one of you YouTubers want one of these Tasmanian flyers from Chris Oberth, the designer, just message me. I'm quite willing to send you one of these. I don't need seven of them. I'll keep one for myself, but... Um, and one's already taken, so I've got five left. So the first five people to message me, I'll send you one of these free in the post, if you like, okay? No problem at all. Um, so that is pretty much it for this week, guys. Lots of pickups, a new arcade machine, a jammer cab, loads of Switch games, arcade games. In the next video, as I've just learned today, this is Sunday, um, I've sold a cabinet and you're going to be disappointed with the sale because it has been in my collection for eight years. I've sold it since recording this video and I've picked up a new game. Um, something I've wanted for a long time. It's quite a rare cabinet. So my next video, we're going to do a drop off and a pick up video and gameplay of both of them. That would be 
hopefully out by the end of this week. Okay, so look out for that. Guys, thanks for watching. As always, send me messages, whatever you want. As soon as I get Wi-Fi down here, I'm going to do a live feed so we can answer all your questions then. But until then, take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.